Consider this, if you're going to mount your spare tire in the Tacoma bed. Well, good morning, everybody, and how are you today? Pretty good here, and this is something that you need to consider if you're going to mount the spare tire in the bed of your Toyota Tacoma. Now, I thought I'd take you guys out, show you exactly what I'm talking about. You can see the spare tire back there, right? Now, here's the consideration. Number one, when you're backing up, uh, I'm looking in the rearview mirror and I can see pretty much what you guys are seeing right there. And that is my spare tire. It is blocking, uh, for sure, the center window part right there of my uh, rear view mirror view and a little bit on each side. So we're gonna back up. Um, and when I back out of my driveway, I'm actually backing up against some plants and a wall or something that's back there, I, I don't know. But you have to be aware of that. If you're going to mount your spare tire in your Tacoma bed, make sure that you're aware or at least uh, realize that you're gonna lose some view, right? Here's my view. Uh, kind of hard to see, there we go. I'll get the camera hopefully out of the way a little bit. That's my view in the rear view mirror right now. Now you can see, I can still see on the sides, right? But I can't see right in the, what's right in the middle. And that of course has created uh, a bit of a blind spot for me. Now there is a solution for that as far as uh, my setup, because in the truck I have a, uh, a camera, right? and I believe all Tacomas now are equipped with a rear camera, but let's go ahead, go into reverse. And you guys can see there that indeed, I can now see everything behind me. Of course, I have the 360 degree cam, so I also have this, which I find very useful by the way. But over here is the view that anybody that doesn't have this part of the system will have. And you can see it's a, even a much better view than I would have uh, normally looking out of my rear view mirror, right? I mean, that's what I have now, but of course you wouldn't have that spare tire in there uh, if you hadn't installed it the way that I did. So that's the first thing you need to be aware of. Now we're gonna go out, get on the road, and I'll show you the second. All right, the second thing that you need to be aware of is simply when you're out driving, right? I mean, you know, if you're going down the freeway and you want to change lanes or, you know, you want to pass somebody or maybe you're sitting at a stoplight, you want to see who's behind you or what's behind you, um, your view's a little bit impeded. Let me turn you around. We're going to drive down the road here. I'm going to show you what my view is uh, while I'm driving. Let's see if I can tip the camera a little bit. This is my view while I'm driving, right? So you can see in the rear view mirror um, what I can see, and I can't see a, a whole lot. I mean, I can see at both edges of the, uh, around rather, the tire, but I can't see what's behind me directly. And if somebody were positioned directly behind me, uh, I wouldn't be able to see them probably at all, particularly if it's a bicycle or a motorcycle. Uh, they're going to be hidden by that spare tire right in the center of my truck. And of course, we all know, you know, nobody is going to position themselves perfectly the way that you want, right? I mean, ideally, you'd think, well, they ought to be sitting uh, over here. They ought to be sitting over there. Invariably, they're going to be sitting right here, right behind that spare tire. I mean, that's just karma. That's just the way that it works, right? Now, another thing I want to mention, because people are probably going to ask, I imagine, and that is my rear view slider there, right? Is the tire blocking my rear view slider? Well, let's go ahead and open it up. You should see it open there. There you go. My rear view slider is now open and I have uh, direct exposure to that spare tire. Uh, <laughs> it's sitting right there. It of course is blocking my, uh, my rear view or not my rear view, but my rear window. It does not impede the operation of the window because the tire is sitting up against the wall of the bed, if you will. And the wall of the bed is spaced probably about, I don't know, an inch and a half, maybe two inches uh, away from the glass on the truck. So there is no concern that the tire is somehow going to be up against that window and you can't open your window. The big concern is, is that if for some reason you use that window, I don't know, to 
reach in the back of your truck. I don't know how you'd reach it from the driver's seat, but maybe a passenger in the back. Or to get better ventilation, more airflow in here. Uh, it is going to block that a little bit. I mean, you're still going to get air coming in through that window, obviously. It's not a rubberized tight seal or anything crazy like that. But it is going to block that window, and you're not going to get the full through effect that you will, that you would rather, uh, if it weren't there. If that's important to you. You know, I know a lot of people like to open everything up. You know, all the windows down, sunroof open, rear window open. For me, living in South Texas, where at, I don't know, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's 90, uh, <laughs> that's rather hot. Um, doesn't mean that we don't have times where I could do that, but uh, primarily for me personally, uh, just not something I do because it is so hot here. But if you are, then that's something else you need to think about. And the one last thing, I guess, uh, that you need to consider if you're going to mount your spare tire in the bed, particularly the way that I have, or, but in any other manner, is uh, the space it takes up. You know, the way I have it, I think, is probably the best way that you can put it, other than turning it the other way, sideways, and putting it up against the wall of the bed, to still be able to haul or utilize that bed fully, to be able to put as much stuff in there as you want to, right? Um, it does take up, obviously, the width of the tire, there is a little bit of room on both sides, not a ton because unfortunately the Tacoma bed is, is not the widest thing in the world, um, but it does take up room and you need to be aware of that. So, you know, if you use the truck for work or maybe hauling stuff uh, or even hauling loads of, let's say, dirt, stones, things like that, which by the way, I wouldn't want to do with my nice shiny, well, it's dirty now, but my nice shiny painted wheel and then throw a bunch of rocks and stuff in there on it just doesn't make sense to me so that might be a problem for you um anyway i just wanted to get on here kind of talk about uh things that you need to consider if you're going to mount uh your spare tire in the bed i don't know that you have a lot of choice though uh depending on what size tire you go with you know all of us out there like to mod our trucks and lift them and then of course you have to put a, a bigger tire in which won't fit underneath and I know a lot of people say it will and it probably would if you really want to jam the thing under there and have it up against your exhaust and and have to use a crowbar to get it out but realistically it just doesn't make a lot of sense to try to jam a bigger tire like that underneath when it just doesn't fit anyway leave a comment down below let me know what you think if you've uh, mounted your spare tire in the bed uh, have you considered these things before you did it? Or do any of them even matter to you? Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.